Ronna McDaniel, Chair, RNC Chair, is at the podium now. Let's listen in. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Laura Cox, for your leadership in the great state of Michigan, my home state. Uh, and we, of course, want to make sure that every legal vote is counted. Uh, and we have seen some discrepancies in Michigan and some irregularities that deserve investigation. Democrats and the media spent four years and millions of taxpayer dollars talking about a Russia hoax on the grounds of election integrity. Now, with just over 48 hours after polls have closed in an actual election for president, they want to ignore clear irregularities, rush to call states as one, and end this election. We will not stand for that. Every candidate in every office, from president down to the local level, has a legal right to challenge irregularities that occur in the process of canvassing ballots. We intend to ensure that every lawful voter has their vote counted in accordance with the law, that observers are granted the access they are due under state law, and that any irregularities that have occurred, whether by malicious intent or incompetence, are fully investigated to the fully, fullest extent allowed under the law. We will not give up on this process until every last issue has been resolved. Today we announced that the RNC has deployed legal teams in four states, including Michigan, to investigate clear irregularities with vote counting and tabulation in those states. They will work with state and local authorities to ensure that a legal count is conducted in accordance to each state's laws and that every vote is counted. It is crazy to us that the media would call a race like Arizona for Biden when our side still has enough votes to win, but in states like Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Georgia, where in some cases the margin is only a few thousand votes, the media is quick to try and claim those races are over and Biden has won. If the shoe was on the other foot, the president, and President Trump was in the lead in all these states, the media would be screaming that the race is not over and we need more time to count and make sure it was right. But because Biden is in a very slight lead, the media demands the race is over and there is nothing to see here. The American people need to have confidence in our elections. Right now, we don't have that because across the country, Democrat officials are shutting down transparency, especially here in the state of Michigan. Democrats are damaging the country in the process of a smooth transition of power by not allowing a transparent process. Right here in Michigan, just last night in Oakland County, we found 2,000 ballots that had been given to Democrats that were Republican ballots due to a clerical error and this took place in Rochester Hills. In Wayne County, Republican poll watchers were denied their legal right to monitor the election and purposely kept in the dark, both literally and figuratively, with poll workers blocking windows, windows and padlocking doors. There are hundreds of reports of our poll watchers being intimidated and unable to do their job. There was a major software issue in Antrim County that we have concerns could have caused problems in other counties as well. This issue was brought to our attention by Congressman Bergman's office when they noticed the results being drastically different from what they expected and what they have received. Okay, well, in there's Ronna McDaniel, and the RNC election. chair, uh, talking about uh, court, violations and irregularities that she's concerned about, especially in the state uh, of Michigan. Uh, she also had some complaints about the media right there. But Terry Moran, I want to start with you on the legal front. I think the margin in Michigan is about 150,000 votes right now. And some of these complaints have gone to the courts. They have in Michigan and in other states. Now, she's arguing in the court of public opinion there, and she can throw out all kinds of stuff. You get to the court of law, you got to provide evidence. And the case that they brought uh, in Michigan uh, was summarily rejected by the judge. who said you don't have any evidence. It was based on... Uh, a posted note, I'm not kidding, on a posted note uh, with an unsigned note saying uh, they're telling me to change the addresses. Uh, they presented that to the, to the court in Michigan without any evidence of where it came from or who or what it really meant. And the judge said that that is hearsay at best. In Pennsylvania, when they've raised this, we aren't getting close enough uh, and nefarious things are happening uh, with the ballots. And then the judge, the federal judge appointed by George W. Bush, looks at what they're saying, recognizes that actually they are in the room. They'd like to get a little closer. He says, I'm not, so, I'm not sure what your problem is here. You know, uh, what's your problem? And in, 
In Georgia, when they brought a case, the judge there said, quote, I don't see any evidence of what you're talking about. So the court of public opinion is one thing, and you can rile people up, but you get to the court of law, and you have to provide evidence. And so far, it's strike three. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.